Hi, my name is Jimmy, and today I want to show you how to book a tea time using our online booking portal for Sun City Festival residents and Indigo Pass holders. First thing you want to do is go to www.coppercanyongolfclub.com. That should bring up a home page that looks something like this. Now I'm on the mobile version on my phone here, um, but you could also bring this up on a web browser at home on your desktop computer or laptop, and it should look something similar to this. You want to choose the menu up in the top left hand corner and then book tea times, the second option from the top there. That's going to bring you to this page. Next thing you want to do is scroll down a bit until you find the two options for booking portals. You have the public players and Sun City Festival residents. Uh, to be able to use the full booking window as a resident or pass holder, you'll want to choose that Sun City Festival residents booking channel. And then that's going to bring you to a page that looks like this. Now, first thing you want to do up here in the top right is hit this little menu icon and sign in using your account. If you don't have one already, you can create an account there below. Or in this case, I'll go ahead and use my credentials here. And then you'll see all the available tea times uh, for the upcoming days. Now, this page is where you'll probably want to stay um, for that 7 a.m. opening booking window. Um, residents can use up to 14 days in advance, and same with Indigo Pass holders, and that window opens at 7 a.m. That's when the tea times are posted, and that time is 6 o'clock in the summer months. But once you're on this page right at 7 o'clock, you can pull down to refresh the page or hit the refresh button in your web browser on your computer, and that will be able to give you the option of choosing the date two weeks in advance here from the calendar up at the top of the page. Now there's a few things that we can do to expedite the process to make uh, booking a tea time a little bit easier for you. Um, some tips that we have, but I'm going to save those till the end of the video. For now, we're just going to go ahead and do the standard tea time booking process, show you what that looks like. So I'm going to start by going to this 1145 tea time here. I'm going to hit the view button. And then I have an option to choose rate. Now you want to pick the rate for the person booking the tea time, the most uh, applicable rate for that person. Um, the other players in your group, uh, we can adjust their rates when they come in, whether they're guests or pass holders or playing nine holes, things like that. Um, that can be adjusted at the check-in. We just want to make sure we choose the rate that best fits the person who's booking the actual tea time. In this case, that's going to be the Sun City Festival resident rate. So we're going to get, go ahead and choose that one. And then you'll see there's an option here to choose the number of players. This is one of the things that we can get uh, expedited a little bit ahead of time. But for now, we'll go ahead and choose our four players that we want. And then hit continue to continue with booking the tea time. Now, before I move on to this next page, I want to go back just for a moment and talk about when that tea time is actually yours, when you have reserved the time uh, so that no one else can book it. That does not happen um, until you hit the continue button on the next page. So when I hit this 1145 view button here, I choose the rate. Even up to this point, I still have not reserved that time. Someone else could go in and book that time. They'll still see it on the list of available tea times. I'm going to go ahead and do this here. When I hit continue, though, that's when the tea time is mine. So you can take as long as you'd like on these next couple of pages. However, um, and no one else will be able to book that time. That, that'll disappear from the list of available tea times. Now, what happens if someone else does get in there um, ahead of you? Let's go ahead and refresh this so that tea time turns back up. There we go. So if I were to choose that 11.45 tea time there, but someone else maybe got in ahead of me and, and booked the tea time already, what would happen is when I go to choose my rate here and then I hit continue, I would get an error message that says this tea time you select is no longer available and then it would offer to give you the next closest time um, by you know uh, nine minutes either before or after or if it's a little bit further out it'll give you whatever the next nearest time is and then when you hit yes it'll just take you immediately into the reservation page where you put the details in so that's a nice little feature rather than having to go all the way back and choosing another time and, and maybe missing out there, you can go ahead and just take that next available uh, closest tea time. Okay, so now once I have a tea time that fits uh, what I need, I get the option here to go ahead and put in um, some details for the other players. So I can put a player's name in. If you, if you leave it blank, it'll just uh, 
um, show up as a blank guest or, or you know, all the, the names will be the same on the tea time reservation, but I could put uh, another player's name in there. And then as I scroll down here, I also have to put in some credit card information. Now, this is another one of the areas here where we can really expedite this process and save some time um, by getting a little more prepared ahead of time. But um, for this case here, I'm going to go ahead and put in my credit card information. And then I want to hit this button down here if, if I have to do this to, to save that credit card information so that I don't have to put it again uh, in the future. So now once I hit continue, it'll say, give me the kind of final details. And then once I hit finish reservation, that tea time is mine. Okay. So I can do um, a few things. I can print the reservation. I can send it to the calendar on my phone or computer so that I have a uh, record of it. But I'm going to go ahead and hit make another reservation here just to return to this home page that we were on before. So now uh, there's some things I can do from here. I can go up into this menu in the top right. I can go to my pending reservations and I can view any reservations that I have made uh, that have not passed yet. I can also look at historical information to see tea times that I've played in the past. And then under the pending reservations, I have some options down here towards the bottom. Um, if I hit this little clock, I can actually move the reservation. So if I'm, you know, not happy with that time, I see an earlier time or a later time, I can go ahead and search for a new tea time to, to move that one to. I can print the confirmation. I can resend the email confirmation. I can also cancel players. So from this list, I can choose how many players I want to cancel. Obviously, two will cancel the entire time since we booked a twosome. Uh, one will just cancel one player from the tea time. And then in this little pencil icon, I can go in and change the details. So if I didn't have the player's name before, I can go ahead and put those players' names in now. So this will work great for those of you maybe with larger groups who want to put some pairings in uh, on the tea sheet. You can go ahead and put names in there if you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and hit back here one more time. And then I'm going to go back up to the menu in the top right. And this is where I have just some other options for contact information if you need to change uh, your email address for uh, tea time confirmations. Um, you can check your membership status. We don't really have anything like that. I just happen to have uh, True and Rewards uh, number in there. And then I can also do um, stuff like payment information and things like that. Now, the last thing I want to talk about here is... Um, some of those little tips that I had mentioned. So I'm going to go all the way back here to this home page. Now, one of the things you definitely want to make sure you do as you're waiting for that 7 a.m. time is go up into the top right and sign in. So I'm going to sign out just to show what that would look like. Go back to tea time search. And then from that, again, from this menu here, you go to sign in and sign in using your account. Another thing that you'll want to do uh, in preparation is go up here into filters and players and choose the number of players that you're looking for so you can have that kind of preset ahead of time that way when I go in here to the 1118 tea time let's say this will automatically default now to four players rather than having to choose uh, four players from the list it'll default to the number of players I was looking for already okay Another thing you can do um, if you were looking for a specific starting course is choose that or a specific time of day, you could do that as well. Another little tip would be um, while you're waiting for that 7 o'clock time, go ahead into your payment information and go ahead and put in a new card. You can add a card, uh, delete a card like this, and put new information in. That will, uh, again, greatly expedite that booking process so that you can get through it a little bit faster. Um, and uh, not have to spend so much time each time you, you uh, book a tea time. So that's um, basically the, the process. Uh, you can see that many of the options here are available. Really the only thing you're not going to see is um, for those of you who might like to play nine holes, you know, even if I go to some of these later times, it's not going to give me the option for nine holes. Um, that may be a feature we have in the future, but for now you go ahead and just book it as an 18 hole time and we can again change the rate when you check in. Uh, you just need to make sure that regardless of what you're booking for, whether it's a pass holder rate, a um, 
uh, nine hole rate, uh, even if you're using churn rewards points or something like that, as long as you're booking within the allowed booking windows um, or the times of day, then we can go ahead and change that when you come in. If you book a tee time first thing in the morning and, and are looking to play nine holes, um, that won't be um, able to be done when you come in uh, because the nine hole rates are not available till after one o'clock in the afternoon. Um, same thing with something like a true rewards um, usage. Uh, those have to be booked three days or less in advance and have other restrictions uh, attached to them. So you just have to make sure that you would book within that booking window. So that about sums up uh, the online booking process. Hopefully this uh, gives you some ideas and, and some help on, on how to make this as smooth as possible uh, next time you use it. And if you have any questions, please feel free to see any of us here in the golf shop for assistance.